Okay. Um, I had to come inside because neighbors walking around, dogs barking. So, anyways, here's the yucca fibers, or the I'm sorry, this is similar to yucca fibers, but this is uh, agave fibers, and this is uh, just some string that I'm making here. I'll try to get it in the frame. So you can roll it on your leg, but this this stuff's kind of kind of bitey unless you want to shave the top of your thigh or something but use wear Levi's but it's already warming up here in Texas so anyways here's the I'm gonna roll this way with this hand and I'm gonna roll I'm not gonna hand them over I'm just gonna spin those two spin that one spin those two and it'll just wind onto itself so you could keep the two free ends of the fibers separate you can make better progress if it if it's not even just back off on it a second and uh, or give it a second go so like if it, if it goes like that and it's not tight the key is to have it to where it almost wraps on itself and then you give it a twist and that locks it in there's some small uh, small little fibers that are going to bind it all together as far as the two strands is with a, with a natural the natural cordage so again this is just me talking about this stuff I I kind of have my way of doing it and everybody mentions that or a lot of people mention that on their videos and this is this is one of the ways it's easy I also like to get the two bundles of fibers tie them to a spot um, and either put a fishing swivel or just even a hook and you get get these this way rolling in the same direction get them to a point where they're so taut and uh, either have somebody remove the the far end from the uh, from the hook and it'll spin onto itself it's not the best it's not the tightest but it will uh, two of those combined as a two strand or yeah two strand twist will be more than enough to make a survival type bow or just a bushcraft plinker um, and I probably have a few agave bow strings around here that are probably let's say more than 20 years old that are still probably usable I'll need to check the bows but um, anyways this is the this is what we got I'll wrap around my fingers um, just from sitting here talking that's that's pretty much what we got going and that's uh, refined cordage you can just use the uh, strips of the agave leaf or the yucca leaf for that matter um, to uh, to tie some stuff and all I have some pictures that I took that uh, I might add on to this video. So if you see a bundle of um, yucca leaves, uh, kind of like a natural zip tie using the needle of the yucca leaf, sticking it back into itself, if that makes any sense, and the, uh, the barbs of the, uh, the outer skin of the yucca leaf and the needle, the small little barbs on the needle act almost like a Velcro little circle R um, and it is a good uh, ex, uh, filled expedient uh, wrap or tie I'm working on a couple of uh, ideas right now at this point but I do have some materials to make a yucca yucca leaf basket pack so keep an eye out for that and this is almost done so I'll probably finish this up and do some do some other stuff here um, batteries dying as usual so everything's normal here at OPEX said I had to step in the house too many distractions out there in the front so went to the back and the camera died so now I got it plugged into about an 80 foot extension cord 
so I'm just doing do an overhand knot on the end of this and call it good but that obviously can be cleaned up so if we're doing it's about an inch I guess one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen approximately seventeen inches of really good uh, cord now I'm gonna I'm gonna shut it down real quick and just show you a little finishing finishing touch for this uh, agave cord all right this isn't very traditional but um, I guess it's, with the cord the cords pretty traditional pretty standard way of making a two strand twist but I'm gonna finish this off with a uh, this, this uh, snow seal, just basically beeswax, and I'm gonna hold it in there, press it kind of tight, get it started, and just pull it out. I'm holding the string into the the beeswax with my finger, and getting a decent coat on it. Now, from here. I'm just going to pull it through my fingers, like that, and uh, a traditional method of doing this, you can, use, uh, you can use animal fat and ash, you can use uh, like pine pitch as in sap um, with a little, little uh, Caesar. Uh, not Caesar salad dressing, but just something to seize the uh, the grease a or the the pitch a little bit. Um, you can use uh, powdered powdered charcoal, whatever. Um, but anyways, there's a there's the deal. And I got this all over my hands, but you can see the string again. One, two. Well, it was what 17 something inches right there. That's the natural. That's the natural fiber. Um, it can be used for tinder also. Um, this with the wax on it will burn like the uh, the uh, flaming flaming cobra, as I call them. And uh, you could use this for all sorts of stuff. But anyways, that's it. It's similar to horsehair in texture, if that makes any sense. Um, you can do another double after even after it's wax right now you can spin it find out your direction you were going before and it'll uh, yeah, it'll double back onto itself and you can get a thicker thicker rope this is great for uh, not necessarily the, the snow seals sealed one but naturally sealed um, rope is good for or cordage is good for your trap parts and all that stuff so anyways uh, fishing line that will hold oh let me do a little test it could possibly break I'm let's see a good test is to see if you can I'm trying to hold it with my toe let's see if you can get a B flat <laughs> That's a good test of fiber right there. Then you start a jug band. Anyways, that's it right there. That's uh, agave fiber 101. And I'll get that uh, I'll get that needle pulling that needle out um, of the leaf video here pretty soon, and I'll probably connect it with this one somehow. So. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care. Mr. Black, Operational Extras, YouTube channel. Agave thread, string, cordage, rope. Uh, right there. Take care. Mr. Black, out. Well, here's a, uh, one of the applications for a small piece of cordage like that.
this is just a fun project. I already started this a little while ago, and I said, well, I'll put this, put this on tape, too. So. That's Nala, also known as Making a thin, thin bow is what we're making. It's gonna scare you if it snaps. Yeah, get She's getting used to me swinging axes and machetes around, so it's a good thing. I think I got enough screen. about right for a toy. Over, under, over, under. Two. Lock it off. Jungle bow.
I don't have any shoes, but it's not a fact. That locks it right there. You do this again with that other angle is forward. So over, under. tighter than it was before. So now a little hickory hickory stick I've been pretty hard there I might have lost it. That's terrible.
there's the there's the bow the power cord in the way there's the wrapping nothing too spectacular that's for sure but the cordage is strong so um, made a toe bo the toy bow not very long so that is a plus of having a uh, fiber make good good string so then you can make a toy bow and entertain yourself there you go mr. black operational extras YouTube channel um, that's it talk to you later thank you